in the last video we have seen uh, making a projectile for uh, player creating a bullet system so likewise in this video we are going to create a enemy enemy offset so let's create a enemy like a player so go to the 2d sprite and create a sprite and choose a and change the name as enemy okay so next we choose a type of the enemy we require so there is a lot of option you can pick anything which you like to use so and then add a sorting layer So it has been added now this is fine so you can choose anything it's your choice so next uh, we going to have uh, we going to have a script uh, which is script system before that we'll add a rigid body and then box collider just have same thing which we add in player so in box collider just enable a trigger and rigid body just make a gravity scale to zero so everything has been done now similar like a player okay so the next step is uh, we are going to create a script like a player so the enemy is going to have a separate thing so so let's add some tags enemy bullet okay so similar like player we're going to have enemy bullet okay so just drag and drop the player bullet to the hierarchy okay you don't want to duplicate here so you want to be make sure that you want to drag and drop so we'll do that later so let's create it click script called enemy control okay so drag and drop the enemy controller to the enemy okay open the script next we are going to have a bullet instantiation uh, similar like a player so just copy the same system we are not going to type again okay so let's have else and fired equal to false fired we want to declare a fired And also a bullet prefab so let's have a bullet prefab and then we are going to have bullet speed float bullet speed and then next fire bull fire okay So let's have uh, yeah shooting time. So uh, we want to know that when we want to fire a bullet because enemy is going to be a uh, like a. So let's me have three seconds for a shoot time. It's going to reduce by time dot delta time. So if shoot time is lesser than zero, then inside that condition we are going to have this fire system okay delete this and we are 
are going to have and fired equal to false. Okay. So in else statements, let's have a fire equal to false. So let's check it out how it's work. So before that, you want to drag and drop the bullet. So let's duplicate the player bullet as an enemy bullet. Okay. Okay, it has done now. Drag and drop. And make sure that you need to have change the rotation because enemy bullet is opposite direction and we having a tax like a player enemy bullet and create original prefab okay so this is going to be a separate prefab and delete the any enemy bullet from the hierarchy okay it's done now so next drag and drop next drag and drop the enemy bullet to the script and bullet script similar like a player we are going to have points on fire perfect hit play and see how it work ok let's creep on creating instance duplicating the object instant so let's check it out what the issue is uh, fire equal to false equal to true everything is fine okay this is fine but we we are getting a keep on or keep on uh, instantiation okay so I think it's due to let's play and see what's happening So it's keep on creating more and more. Okay. So the thing is we need to have uh, again restart the shoot time to 3. Okay. So let's play and see. Yeah. It's working fine now but it's creating uh, in opposite direction. So you want to add negative for the transform dot portion dot y and then for a bullet speed okay let's uh, check for bullet speed first okay it will move in opposite direction yeah it's perfect now next we'll uh, just say a portion similar like for positive we are going to have negative so let's play and check it out yeah it's perfect now so let's increase the speed a little bit so that we can see it will work perfectly yeah it's fine now maybe we can add more speed yeah this is great okay this is perfect okay I think 4.5 will go fine okay this is done now so next thing is we want to the thing is if you see the enemy is not moving we want to move our enemy okay so let's see how to move the enemy it's it should not be static I mean. so in order to move the enemy we need to get uh, the velocity of the enemy uh, for the game object so we are going to use at a start statement to get a velocity for a particular game object so get component of rigid body 2d and then dot velocity equal to new vector to of x and y so y is generally is going to be a speed moment of a moment of a enemy so let's 
So let's have movement speed. Okay, so let's change in editor, not here. Let's have one and see how it's work. Okay, it's moving opposite, similar like you uh, want to add negative for the moment. It's working fine, I think. Yeah. So let's uh, shoot time a little bit lesser because we are not seeing any fire from enemy yeah it's fine now so the enemy started uh, shooting the player but if you see the next issue is the size is little bit big I think we can reduce the size. Once we reduce the size, just copy the same size for uh, enemy also. To make a good interaction, so I am trying to reduce. So, camera offset we want to change. Let me change the offset a little bit lesser. Okay. See, this is fine. Camera offset is fine. Okay, for uh, pinning for a player, can able to see the initiation position for uh, bullet is changed for player and enemy. Let's change a little bit lesser point one F one F. Now, even we want to change a little bit more, we'll try to do that. Okay, so hit play and see how it works. Okay, it's perfect now. So it's working fine for the both enemy and player. So that's it.